Bu seçim ve yanımıza sabah kadar tekrardan uyanık ona düşkanız adamız, evin atımız ve bunu da sanırım varıyız bir ana tekrardan. Hem de bunu çok da bağlı bir karan da açın kumlayışı. Mother is made of atoms. We are made of atoms. Everything we touch is made of atoms. The reason why I'm bringing up atoms now is because I want to introduce the electron, which will be required to explain the electric current. On the right, I try to represent uh, the structure of the atoms. There is a central part, which is the nucleus, which is made up of protons and neutrons. And then we have a third type of particle, which is the electron, that is floating around the nucleus. You can see here there is like a cloud of electrons around the nucleus. The protons have a positive charge of value E. Now, e has a certain value that we'll, we'll describe later. While electrons have a negative charge of value minus E. Neutrons have no charge. E is equal to 1.6 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 19 Coulomb. Where Coulomb is the unit of measurement of the charge. Atoms are usually neutral which means that they have the same number of electrons and protons. Now that we talk about electrons, we can talk about electric current. Electric current is simply the rate of flow of electric charge. Let's look at the example here to the, to the right. Let's say you have an electrical wire, so like a piece of copper, for example. So we are looking at a section of the wire. The wire actually continues here and there, so it's just a little section of it. And let's say you have three electrons on, on the left side. And you are an observer, you are somewhere in the middle of the wire, and you just monitor a certain section of this wire. You just look at a particular section. Now, I could ask you to do a certain experiment, which is in a certain amount of time, delta t, you can choose the amount of time. It could be one second, one hour, you know, one year. It could be one microsecond. It could be as long or as short as you want. You will just be sitting there and count the number of electrons that pass from left to right. At the end of the experiment, you will have a certain number of electrons here, and E. And if you multiply the electron by E, which is the charge of one electron, you basically know what is the total amount of charge that passed. If you divide the total amount of charge that passed, which I'm writing as Q here, by delta T, what you get is the electric current. Electric current is the amount of charge that passed during a certain time along the wire. The unit of measurement of the electric current, the natural unit of measurement, will be Coulomb divided by second because we have charge divided by time. But because the current is such an important thing, it has its own unit of measurement that is called ampere and it's indicated with A. So you can see here I substitute Coulomb divided by second with A. There is a very important thing to remember, which is the convention of the direction of the current. The general convention is to have the direction of the current to be the same as the direction of movement of positive charges. What does it mean? Given that usually in electric circuits and wire, what moves are really electrons, and electrons have a negative charge, the direction of the current is the opposite of the movement of the electrons. So in this case, there will not be the right direction. Let me cancel it but the direction of the current that you measure will be the opposite. It will be in this direction, so from right to left. The first question wants to imagine to be a person sitting by an electrical wire for some reason that is observing a section of this wire. During a certain amount of time, which is equal to 6 seconds, You measure a central amount of charge moving from left to right and another amount of charge moving from right to left. In particular, the amount of charge moving from left to right is equal to 4 Coulomb, which I'm representing here with four little balls, left to right. And but at the same time, you also measure an amount of charge equal to 7 Coulomb, that is moving from right to left. The problem wants you now to calculate the amount of current in amps given the delta time and given the amount of charge that moved through the wire. Solving the problem simply requires the knowledge of the definition of a current that is defined as delta Q over delta T. But simply this equation simply states that the current is defined as the rate of charge moving through a wire 
or the number of tries that you observe during a certain amount of time divided the amount of time. Now, for this uh, problem, delta t is easy to calculate because it's 6 seconds. It's actually defined by the problem. Delta t is a little bit more complicated. However, if you recall the definition, the, the correct definition of the current, delta q is in effect the net amount of uh, charge that is passing through the section of a wire. So in this case, because we have 4 coulomb moving from left to right and 7 coulomb moving from right to left, we can say that the net amount of charge moving through the wire is an amount of charge equal to 3 coulomb moving from right to left. So we could cancel this and we could say that the net amount of charge is simply equivalent to 3 coulomb moving from right to left. So now we know what is the delta Q that we have to use to solve this, uh, this little equation. This is 3 coulomb. Now we can very easily solve this, uh, this little equation. So I will be equal to 3 divided by 6, which is equal to 0 0.5 amp, or 400 milliamp. The next question wants you to determine the direction of the current that you've just calculated. The current is equal to 0 0.5 amp or 500 milliamp, but this could be going from left to right or from right to left. Determining the direction of the current is pretty easy. Just remember that conventionally, the current almost always moves in the same direction as the positive charges. Now, in this example, we have calculated that the net amount of charge in the end is equal to 3 coulomb. So 3 coulomb is a positive amount of charge. So we have an amount of charge that is positive and it's moving from right to left. Therefore, the current is also going from right to left. So at the end of the day, we can say that in this wire, we have a current equal to 500 milliamp that is moving from the right side of the, of the wire to the left side. To answer this question, we need to calculate the value of the current, considering the case where the delta time, the time during which we do our measurement of the charge, is not anymore 6 seconds, but it's only 2 seconds. Everything else stays the same. So the amount of charge that we see during these 2 seconds is the same that we saw before during 6 seconds. What is the new value of the current? Well, the equation is the same as before. Let's take a little area here to do the math. So I is still equal to delta Q divided by delta T. Now we know that delta Q is 3 coulomb. Delta T now is 2 seconds. So the final result is 1.5 amps. So the current now is 3 times bigger than the current that we had before, that was 0 0.5 amp. This makes sense because we have the same amount of charge uh, during the time that is 3 times shorter. So the rate of charge is 3 times larger, hence the current is 3 times bigger. The next question wants you to determine the direction of the current that you've just calculated. The current is equal to 0 0.5 amp or 500 milliamp, but this could be going from left to right or from right to left. Determining the direction of the current is pretty easy. Just remember that conventionally, the current almost always moves in the same direction as the positive charges. Now, in this example, we have calculated that the net amount of charge in the end is equal to 3 coulomb. So 3 coulomb is a positive amount of charge. So we have an amount of charge that is positive and it's moving from right to left. Therefore, the current is also going from right to left. So at the end of the day, we can say that in this wire, we have a current equal to 500 milliamp that is moving from the right side of the, of the wire to the left side. To answer this question, we need to calculate the value of the current, considering the case where the delta time, the time during which we do our measurement of the charge, is not anymore 6 seconds, but it's only 2 seconds. Everything else stays the same. So the amount of charge that we see during these 2 seconds is the same that we saw before during 6 seconds. What is the new value of the current? Well, the equation is the same as before. Let's take a little area here to do the math. So I is still equal to delta Q divided by delta T. 
Now we know that delta Q is 3 Coulomb. Delta T now is 2 seconds. So the final result is 1.5 amps. So the current now is 3 times bigger than the current that we had before, that was 0.5 amp. This makes sense because we have the same amount of charge uh, during a time that is 3 times shorter. So the rate of charge is 3 times larger, hence the current is 3 times bigger.